Hello traders, welcome to Invest2.com's Essential Guide to Supply and Demand. In this lesson, we are going to learn finally how to trade from supply and demand zones. Now that we know what supply and demand is, how to locate those demand zones and those supply zones, how to correctly draw them, and how to um, confirm them with the order book, well, we are going to look at some entries from those zones, all right? Now, let's go to the chart. And uh, this is the GBP USD four hour chart, all right? We are going to focus on the right side of the of the of the chart because this is the most uh, recent price actions that we can uh, well that we can analyze. We are going to start by looking at uh, these supply zones that were broken, all right? So let me zoom in a little bit, and uh, this is where the down move starts. Here we were still making higher highs and higher lows, all right? And here is where we broke with the up structure. So what are we going to do? Well, we are going to locate that area of demand that was broken. This is the base candle, okay? The candle that has um, a body that is 50% or less than the entire uh, height of the candle at the end of the down move. And this is the upper proximal line all right so let's draw this trend from the low of the base to the upper side of the proximal line all right here here is where we broke with the zone or this is the zone that we broke with now we might be um a little high on time frames to take entries what we need to do is just look for a retest of this zone okay this is the broken zone that can turn into uh into supply or that will turn into supply because you can see that one we have to follow the rules one we have the base the we have the correct uh, upper proximal line we have the absorption candle and then we are on the way to a retest but we have to go to the one hour chart to see what's going to happen here. So what's going to happen here? Price is going to come back all the way to this area. And when price comes all the way to this area, where this is where we want to put our buy order. All right. We want to put our buy order here. Let me just thicken this candle for you. And let's use a, a black color. This is our entry, all right? This is our entry. Why? Because we want a retest of this zone. Where is our stop loss going to be? Well, our stop loss is going to be above the previous high. The reason our stop loss is going to be above the previous highs is because one, all right? Now, one, if we break above the previous area of demand that we absorbed and now is being tested and for sure are going to find sellers here as supply if we break with this zone then our trade idea is no longer valid but the down structure is still valid until we make a higher high we are still making lower highs so what's going to happen is that we are going to put our our, our entry here we get filled and we have uh, a stop loss of around 83 pips it's a wide stop loss but it's the kind of stop loss that needs to be used in supply and demand trading all right and what happens here is that we made a good profit okay if we target the previous low we are making 130 pips on an 80 pip risk and uh, on an up move you are going to do the same but on the other side of the market you are going to look for supply zones that are going to be absorbed then retested as demand zones for you to be able to have the best risk to reward on a long position following the trend.